Hello, my name is Lauren Wood, and I have media recommendations for your eco-friendly cleaning products. And the four media recommendations I have are social media, TV, podcasts, and the internet. Starting off with social media, the pros is that not only will you reach your target audience, but your business on various social media platforms can also expose your business to a broader audience that didn't know that needed your product. Connect directly with your audience by creating engagement with your community online and gives you a chance to see how your business proceeds in public. Build brand loyalty by building an emotional connection with your audience can create a loyal customer base. Monitor customer feedback, manage the comment section, and answer any questions your customers may have. The cons about social media that creating content is time consuming, creating the captions, the graphics, and setting up photo shoots and videos for the platforms. While blocking out your time and making a schedule to create content and using scheduling apps to help you post your content while you work on other tasks can release some stress. The next recommendation is the internet. According to, according to Statista, 54% of women are more likely to shop online for health and beauty products online, which helps your intended demographic. Starting off the pros, your customers are online and you can target effectively using internet ads. You can closely monitor spending by setting up a spending cap only pay when interested customers click on your ad. You can advertise on the internet, allowing you to track and monitor your campaign results. And the cons of the internet is it can be complicated. It can be confusing to figure out which ads you want to use, and there are a variety of options to use from in the Google platforms. Uh, of course, advertising on the internet, you can make some costly mistakes. Choosing wrong bid, keywords, or forgetting to turn off a campaign can cost you. And the next media recommendation is TV. Starting with the pros, obviously TV can grab anyone's attention. And combining sight and sound, it can easily grab viewers' attention from whatever they're doing and listen to your message on. Uh, during the commercial. We can foster emotion and empathy using television. I believe we can really pull in the audience by telling a story and why your product is needed and showing them how that eco-friendly cleaning supplies are healthy for their households. The commercials can be fun, educational, and even emotional. Whichever route the commercial takes, it can have a huge impact towards your audience. Using TV, can reach a wide targeted audience from local TV, from national TV. You can target your audience, you can target specific audience as well as reaching people beyond your target audience to buy your products. The con is that obviously TV is expensive from the big production to buying a TV slot. The second con is that you, in order for people to remember your ad, your message, and your brand, you have to constantly pay to run your ad multiple times. And the last thing is that changes are difficult and costly. If you need to make a change to your ad or reshoot, it's going to cost you. And the last recommendation is podcasts. Podcasts have taken a storm in the mainstream media and even increasing since the pandemic. I believe this booming mainstream media is a great way to advertise your product, especially if it's host read. Starting off with the pros, podcasts are personable and facilitate connections. It's best to use a podcast host to advertise your brand, which gives it a human touch for your brand, especially if their experiences with your brand are genuine and positive. In podcasts, you can reach a younger audience with millennials and Gen Z since they are taking over the media, me, um, podcast medium. Podcasts can increase the opportunity to reach your audience. Since podcasts, you can listen to your driving or going to work. You can listen to anywhere, anytime. The cons about podcasts is that the technology can be intimidating. Learning how to make a podcast and getting the equipment is an investment. And businesses without a huge marketing team might be uneasy about return on investment. Also, pack podcasts can take time and production and finding a host to advertise your brand. And the last con is that many people listen to podcasts while doing tasks, such as working or driving, and necessarily can't hurry to go to your website. So overall, this is the cost of the media, and the most expensive is TV, but help 
but the help of using three other platforms can greatly increase the spreading of the message of your product. Like I said before, TV is the most expensive medium on the market, but I believe it would be best to use 45% of your budget towards broadcast television, 25% of social media, and 20% of the internet, and 10% of podcasts. So using all these four media platforms, I believe it will reach your target audience and get the message out about your eco-friendly cleaning products to even a broader audience. Thank you for listening.